You may know them from such films as Dawn of the Dead, Resident Evil, and Shaun of the Dead. Zombies. A reanimated human body devoid of a human soul with a taste for human flesh. Most people disregard this term and think it juvenile to believe in it. But the question is, are we being naive? Is this a real threat? Ignoring walking ghouls that are going to, you know, slouch up and bite your face off and turn you into walking ghouls. No, that, that's not being naive. I, I wouldn't call that being naive. I call that being an idiot. You're being stupid. You mean, if you keep your eyes open, you'll see them. You'll see them walking around. A lot of times late at night, you'll catch them. Sometimes when the bar is closed, oddly enough, you'll see a lot of them. I think they want to get the drunk people walking home. They're, they're dumb, but they they know more than we think they do. But yeah, you're you're being naive and stupid, a combination, a d double threat, if you will. I've known Mark for quite a few years. Um, as for the zombie issue, always been there. Always, always been there. He had a fear of them as a child, I'm sure, and it just kind of grew into this hate. Janine desperately wants Mark to return to reality, but someone else says he's already there. I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, Mark is okay up here. He's perfectly fine. It's everyone else that's having a problem. They're all in denial. Denial, okay? Um, they're all naive, they don't understand the true threat that is out there. And uh, I pity them because when you know, the day comes that they're going to show up, uh, they're going to be screwed. main thing you got to worry about is them biting you. But the sure way to get infected and turn to one of them, and then you'll be biting people. You can probably watch, I mean, you can get infected from, you know, claw marks or their blood splatter on you, but that's, that's how it's like to happen. Stay away from their mouth is the main thing. If, I mean, if you want to kill them, go for the head. Guns, most effective way to kill them, shoot them in the head, they're dead. they'll go right down. You can, you can use a melee weapon, it's not recommended at all, though. I mean, getting that close is dangerous, they can bite you. In a pinch, though, yeah, I mean, it'll work, if you're careful. Mark has a problem with the zombies. It's not helping, though. I mean, his friends, they're all into the whole, there's zombies, they encourage it. They might be crazy, too. He's not crazy, crazy is a harsh word. Mark Smith's first real actions were in February 07 during a large winter storm when he armed himself against zombies that were bound to try to take over in the massive power outage. Well, when you have a crisis situation that's not zombie related, you also have to be very cautious because that's going to put everyone, you know, in a, in a weaker state where the zombies can take advantage of it. I mean, they're not knowingly taking advantage of it, but, you know, say you got a small outbreak during this storm when the police are tied up, Emergency vehicles are all tied up doing things. Roads are blocked off from down power lines. People can't get around. That's going to work in the uh, zombie favor. It's going to make it... So about two summers ago, uh, Mark and myself and a few other zombie, fellow zombie hunters um, set up a barricade around um, the cemetery next to Monmouth Park, um, which is, makes perfect sense right there. You know, put zombies in, you know, next to unsuspecting children. Smart. Um, but uh, we set up a barricade um, beginning of the night about 10 o'clock or so, and we held it all the way to morning. Um, it was a good job, good effort by everybody. Um, no zombies showed up, but you, know, you can't do much when you know, your prey doesn't show up. Um, the, the key issue here is just poor city planning. I mean, graveyard next to a park? How is that logical? I mean, you've got kids playing there. They're they're not going to know any better. They're going to be poking them with a stick, and they're going to get bitten, and they're going to turn. And their parents are going to be like, no, don't shoot my kid. They're not really a zombie. They're, and then they're going to get bitten, too. And, you're, and you're, doubles your problem. It's the big family. Hell, to quadruple your problem. And you got a lot more work on your hands. Little kids, they run all over the place so quick. Even when they're dead, they're quick. And they throw off your, your aiming. I mean, like to, you got a line of guys there trying to hold back the zombies. They're all, they're all aiming, you know, about the same height they are, head height for, you know, an average, average man or woman. And you got the kids, you got to aim way down there to get them in the head, and then you got to aim way back up if you got their parents there behind them. It's trouble, it makes things a lot more complicated. Could have been, could have been solved, but they just cremate everyone. Why is everyone such a baby? What do you need your body for? If we cremate you, we could at least use you to, like, grit icy paths or something so people didn't slip. But Here's the deal. The day the zombies come, 
the day Mark and I are right on everything we've ever said is the day you realize how foolish you were. And His friends, though, are still there. We're all still there. We still love him. He's, he'll, he'll pull through. We have faith he'll pull through. One day. One day he'll learn the zombies aren't real. But I know a lot of you guys are prepared, but there are a lot of you guys that aren't. And we'll, we'll be able to, you know, help you out some. You can't just, all of you can't piggyback off us. I mean, if your, you know, if your neighbor is prepared, he might, he might save you, but you can't count on, you know, your mother having a neighbor that's going to be prepared too. She might get eaten because you're being lazy. You're being closed-minded and not preparing for this, I wouldn't say inevitable disaster, but very plausible disaster. I mean, you wear your seatbelt when you drive your car, don't you? If you don't, I mean, you're a jackass. I mean, this Stop. is the same basic principle. You don't prepare for zombies and stockpile weapons. You're a jackass. That's about all there is to it.